Well, if you have an athletic golf swing and you have swing speed, sometimes I see players in an effort to get more power, they get a little bit collapsed at the top of their backswing. So their weight starts to go a little bit forward. These arms start to get a little bit close to the body. That golf club goes past parallel. And what I see a lot of players do is if they get into that overswing position, they get a lot of weight going forward to that left toe. They then have to reverse that and kind of go backwards on the downswing. And then they're losing a lot of the speed that they tried to create. So it's important that on your backswing, you don't get that club to go past parallel. If you look at some of the longest hitters on the PJ Tour, they have much more stability in their lower body, and that golf club gets to about a parallel position. It doesn't collapse and go past parallel. And I think that can be a good thing if you've got an athletic swing and you have a lot of speed to make sure that you don't overswing in an effort to get power. So load that right side and then go ahead and fire through and create power without an overswing.